About six months ago, I visited an aftermarket seat manufacturer called TMI or TMI Products. Their factory produces everything from the design, the manufacturing and the assembling, along with even the packaging and shipping of all of their interior products. They design everything from bench seats, bucket seats, center console, door panels, and a bunch of other stuff that I really didn't get a chance to look at. After the tour was all over, I reached out and I said, hey, I'm really tired of my bench seat. I see that you guys have a new line of budget seats. I wanna go ahead and try some of those out. And they said, no problem. And within a couple weeks, I had the opportunity to either go pick them up or have the seats shipped to wherever I was. Because they're only about an hour, hour and a half away from where I live, I just went ahead and drove out again to their warehouse and pick up the packages. And I came back home and I got right into the installation. At this point, I was getting the truck ready to get featured at LS Fest West. And by the time I received the seats, I had a month or a month and a half to remove my existing bench seat, make new seat brackets, set up the geometry for the seating. And then I had to make new mounts on my roll bar for my off-road seatbelt harness. These are the seatbelt brackets that I came up with originally. They are made out of 16 gauge steel. They're very basic. They have a flat side on one side and an angled side on the bottom side. You guys might be wondering why, if I went ahead and got the seats through TMI, why didn't I get the seat brackets? Well, we're talking March of this year, 2023, and at that time, they actually didn't have a seat bracket available for the 72 to 80 Dodge trucks. And it wasn't until several months later that they actually had that available. Another problem was that because I had a roll bar in my truck, it completely changes where the seats are positioned and it has to scoot the whole setup forward. So even if I did have their mounts, I think I would still have to modify them anyway. Regardless, I've made a set of these mounts, two for each side. The only problem that I had with these is that while I was driving out to Vegas, I realized that they were a little too low. And so I made a second set that are currently on my truck that put the seat about two or three inches higher than these ones do. The installation was fairly quick. It took me about 45 minutes to an hour per seat. And that was including the fabrication of my seat bracket. So if you guys were able to buy a bolting kit for your vehicle, like I mentioned, the one for my Dodge truck is now available. But if you guys do not have to manufacture your own seat brackets, it probably wouldn't take you 45 minutes or an hour per seat to get those things installed. When you buy the seats along with their seat brackets, you actually get pretty much everything that you need to install it. You even get a bag of hardware that I didn't even realize was included. And when I manufactured my own seat brackets, I said, oh man, I'm gonna have to go buy some bolts. And then I opened the box to go look at the seat brackets and the bag of bolts was already there. It even came with a couple extras in case I lost a few of them. The only quote unquote downsides of the Cruiser collection is that they only come in black leather and you can only get a few colors in the stitching. But that's really part of the process of getting these seats a little bit more affordable. The less patterns they have to make, the the cheaper it is for you guys to buy. So I totally get it from a business standpoint. If you guys absolutely had to have your seats in a specific color or pattern, and then you can just call TMI and purchase your higher trim seats. But because my truck is a bare bones off-road slash race truck, but not really, I think the black leather and red stitching that I got actually fits pretty perfect with the rest of the theme of the truck. As of the recording of this video, I've put a few thousand miles already on these seats, and that's including my round trip to Las Vegas and my 1975 Dodge W100, which happens to support a 5.3 liter turbocharged LS with the manual five-speed transmission. And by the time I was driving out to Vegas, my entire setup was actually fresh. I hadn't put any miles on it. I hadn't tested anything. I literally finished up the truck the morning that I was leaving and then I took off to Vegas. Luckily, I only ran into a few issues, but none of them had to do with the seats. From my past experience with aftermarket seats, they've always been too stiff or uncomfortable or the leather was just a little too tight. It felt like if you pushed on them too hard, you were gonna rip right through the whatever vinyl or leather they were using on top. But as soon as I sat on the TMI seats, I was actually pretty impressed. And they were much more comfortable than I would expect them to be. And I think a lot of that has to do with the foam that they use in their seats. I don't know if I'm allowed to say what I'm about to say, but while I was on tour at the TMI facility, I snooped around a little bit and I noticed that they don't only use their foam technology to make aftermarket interior parts. They also use it to make office chairs and pillows and a bunch of other stuff for other companies. So looking back now, it got me thinking, I was like, no wonder their seats are so comfortable. They're not designed to feel like an aftermarket seat. They're actually designed to be comfortable. And that actually impressed me quite a bit, especially on my two or three hour drive down to Vegas. Whereas my old bench seat was plush and bouncy. And that's not to say I dislike my bench seat, but once I switched over to the bucket seats, my truck was a whole nother animal. I actually felt like I was driving in the cockpit of a race car than I actually felt riding around in my old 70s Dodge truck. I mentioned earlier in the video that the seats that I tried out 
they were not their super high-end top-of-the-line seats. They, these are their budget-oriented seats. This is their cruiser collection, which is aimed for like the standard enthusiast with a regular project car. It doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles, but the same foam technology is there that their higher tier seats use. The only thing that changes is the actual trim packages. So just because it is their budget version of their high-end seats, that does not mean that the cruiser collection is any less comfortable than their higher end seats. Overall, I was super impressed. Their facility is super nice. Definitely give those guys a try. Although I was provided a set of seats, I'm not paid to make this video and I'm not gonna get a single dime if you guys buy or don't buy anything from the links down below. So go ahead and drop me some questions down below. I will see you guys all in the next one. Night Wrencher, out.